so today we'll discuss uh, inheritance in the inheritance generally the process of deriving new class from existing class is called as inheritance so here inheritance is called as is a relationship what it is is a relationship so here parents and perfect this new class is called as child class or subclass and existing class is called as parent class parent class so here generally to achieve reusability we can use inheritance so what are the basic advantage suppose we want to achieve code reusability reusability between two classes then go for inheritance so here basically main motto is to provide the code reusability and we will avoid the redundancy so main advantages ah uh, achieve code reusability avoid ah uh, avoid redundancy redundancy nothing but duplicate code so as much as possible we will avoid the redundancy so here this inheritance how to achieve the code reusability we'll discuss here to achieve the inheritance we will use one keyword that keyword name is extends we will use extends keyword to provide easy relationship between two classes that's it so here observe i will show you an example class a now public wide encrypt public wide so assume this a class belongs to uh, one project that is called icac similarly class b uh, class b also part of your icac project how many classes are there total how many classes classes two classes so here assume observe this method is duplicated here as well right encrypt so encrypt method is a duplicate method in class a and class b similarly decrypt method is a duplicate method class and class b so this is redundancy redundancy nothing but duplicate code right so to avoid redundancy and achieve reusability then go for inheritance so through inheritance how to achieve now observe above example how to redesign by using inheritance so whatever common logic is there suppose assume this is the common logic this keep one class whatever common logic is there divide from multiple classes divide uh, uh, separate out from the all the classes and design separate class utility you can do whatever you want you can do the utility so this is common logic so any questions now here observe class a uh, class a contains same methods right instead of designing again simply provides actions utility so utility is the parent class which give the features to the child class called a a is the child class 
getting the features getting the features from parent now no need to write again these two methods physically automatically whenever your class extend utility automatically that classes inherited are getting logically so this is code reusability similarly class b yeah any questions up to this are you able to understand this scenario hello yes sir yeah. now here child class generally what is the meaning of child class a class which takes features which takes are getting the features is called as child class which take the features from another class is called as child class now parent class ah uh, the class which gives features to other class is called as parent class that's it so parent class all always give the features to the child class child class always getting the feature from the parent class that's it so how to design the inheritance what are the steps we will follow to design inheritance which class is first will design either child class or parent class which first class parent. without parent child does not exist right how to design yeah design parent class or super class ah and then design child class or subclass last one provide hmm. extend keyword is a relationship that's it ah any questions any questions what is meant by is a relationship is a is also called inheritance inheritance okay okay sir. that's it so now inheritance types so can anyone inheritance is divided into multiple times multiple types single mm -hmm. level inheritance hierarchical multi level inheritance multiple hybrid um, hybrid inheritance hybrid uh, level hybrid hierarchical hierarchical hierarchical, hierarchical. Inheritance. That's it, right? Can you draw the diagrams? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. So assume this is parent class. This is child class. This is parent class. This is child class. B getting the features from where? Hmm. A. A. So A is called parent class. A is called parent class. B is called child class. Class. Hmm. Single level inheritance. So I will give the example here beside itself. So first we will design class A. Yeah, class A design done. Now I am going to design class B. So as of now, these two classes are dependent or independent? Hmm? Independent. Uh, independent, right? Now we will provide the relationship extends A. So here B is the child class, B getting the features from A class. A is the parent. Why? Because A gives the features to the B class. Okay. So this diagram everyone are able to follow, right? Now, similarly, multi-level. Uh, so 
so one main parent multiple intermediate parents and multiple intermediate chains yeah. now observe assume first two assume first two so this is a this is b this is c so first two assume what is the parent and what is the child a is the parent b is the child super ha huh. b and c is the child b the pa in these two b the parent c the child so consider three consider three for a b act as child for c b act as parent yes or no yes hello yes sir yes sir yeah so this is called multi level inheritance so assume how to design the classes ha huh? first what is the super class a a yeah. ah uh, next class b. b now these two are independent provide relationship extends a oh sorry ah uh, so b getting the features from a class yeah. now this is single level inheritance i want to achieve multi level ah uh, extends a or b b any questions yes yes we can use for main method uh, which uh, use for uh, child class or um, uh, parent class no by default may execution start from main method right there is no relationship main method to other relationship right okay, okay. sir he is asking we are creating object for a class and we call the methods b and c no no not possible so you will create an object to a you will call you will call the b and c methods right you are you are asking now next one hybrid anyone any idea one class extend two and more classes okay so now next one first we'll discuss hierarchical what is the hierarchical one uh, one parent class and two and more classes are is the child yes single parent multiple child, child. classes a b so here a is the parent b and c are the child this is hierarchy Hierarch hierarchical inheritance ah clear this one now next one is ah multiple inheritance reverse of hierarchical ah what is the reverse of hierarchical multiple ch multiple one parents child in, one child in multiple one child two parents one child yeah not only two multiple okay a yeah. b c so here multiple parents and single child single child Oh, 
hierarchical so these two combinations is called sorry these two combination is called hybrid hybrid inheritance this is overall about uh, inheritance types now i will go to single level inheritance Single level inheritance means one child class uh, extends yes. the behavior of a parent class. Single parent, single child. Yes or no? Ajum. Single child. First we will design parent class and then design child class and provide the relationship between A and B by using extends keyword. So this is called single level inheritance. inheritance. Yeah. Now we will see one by one. Same way, I am going to give, try to uh, provide the example. Yeah, first I will design A class. So A class contains any constructor, guys? Any constructor, A class? No. If there is no constructor as part of your class, then compiler will provide default constructor. A class default constructor. Now I am going to design B class. So B class does not contain any constructor so compiler required b class default constructor as below so here b class default constructor now these two a and b are the independent classes now i am going to provide relationship between a and b now b is the child class why because b getting the features from a class a is the parent, why? Because A provides the features to the B class. Mm -hmm. Now, I am going to create an object to the B class. What will happen? Please observe. So now, B, B is equal to new B. What will happen? Anyone guess? How many objects are created? You are creating an object to the B class. So only one object is created for B or A and B, both objects are created. Now here, both. observe the output, run as Java application. So two objects are created. So you are creating B class, go to B class. Is there any default constructor available as part of B class? If yes, first. Uh, before creating an object to the B class, is there any class extended by B? If yes, go to that class and check is there any default constructor available? If yes, A class constructor object created first and then come back to B class, B class object get created. Total how many objects are created? Two. Why? Because you know how to call the current class default constructor? How to call? Extend. So, how to call current class default constructor? This is calling, right? Current class default constructor. This uh... calling current class default constructor. So, similarly, how to call current class parameterized constructor? pass the values v1 comma v2 similarly i want to call super class default constructor we will use one more keyword super without is is used to calling super class default constructor i want to call super class parameter constructor huh? instead of this you will use Super. That's it. Now, 
here b class constructor by default it will call no implicit this is implicitly calling like this implicitly b class default constructor will call uh, a calls a class super class constructor like this even though you forget no need to worry about the compiler will append this one that's it okay by default it will call to a class constructor and a class object get created and then b class object get created that's it next question just i will use one method you know a class contain method like public void m1 so i am from m1 method m1 a class so a class contain how many methods single method and i am going to design one more method here b class i am from m2 from b class now so a class contain only one method and b class contain how many methods guys b class single method or two methods two methods two methods two method. one method is physically exist second method is logically getting from a now observe here now here you are creating which class object b class right now we will get both methods after here m o m1 and m2 that's it now i will show one more one more example at least you can better idea so now i will create an object to the a class can i access b class methods or not that is our question now i am going to answer that question now i am going to create an object to the a class a a is equal to new a huh now can i access b class methods no no why because there is no relationship right yes or no yes. a to b b to a is there yes. now whatever a class contain that methods only we can access observe b a m1 method is available so we can access that method that's it That's it, guys.